Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all in the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51, everything in the Butterfly. When you start rapping like that? Uh, mm. huh. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey. Ooh, hey, I can't be for rappers. Studio in the booth, that's why I leave a rapper. In the streets thugging, I ain't even wanna be a rapper. I might clap a rapper if I see a rapper. If you see a nigga with me, probably ain't a rapper. Sneak this in your songs, make me hate a rapper. Welcome to the league. Dominated by warriors, closing in their distance to the title. If he a Boston, why would Jason agitate him and they can't stop me from wigging to the fight? You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Salute to Hollow the Dawn, LOMclothing.com. Make sure you follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. You can hit me up on the gram. You can talk to me about battle rap. I reply to DMs as far as, you know, battle rap things is related and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a good way to interact. Follow me on Twitter. Make sure you follow Showtime SP. But yeah, let's get to it. So JC, big bag JC, big bag JC, 120K J, I like it. Um, won the big bag last night battling Swamp, and I'm going to break down every round that I've sketched about. Uh, I put out the other recaps and things like that last night, but I definitely wanted to touch on a couple things today. I see people complaining about the judging and all of that. Listen, y'all going to have problems with any judge. No matter who it is, y'all always gonna have problems. This person did this, this person did that. It's never gonna be 100%, you know what I'm saying, equal across the board. Y'all never gonna be happy, no matter who it is. Niggas could judge on Zoom, y'all gonna be tripping. Niggas could judge in the building, y'all gonna be tripping. The only time I really was like, looking at it like, damn, was when Cal and them was up there, you know, when they, um, the first, first, first time where he kind of was like, a little high, maybe a little drunk. It was kind of like, yo, like the battling judging was kind of fucked up. But since then, they have done a really good job, like to stand there and have to listen to rounds and then questions up there trying to get bars and shit like that. that that's not easy. Y'all, like people think it's easy, but to watch a battle live while trying to get notes and interpret what happened, I've done it as far as like, you know, with recaps and shit like that. I know it's not easy. That's why I don't never want to judge no battles. No way. I'd rather talk my shit my way and that's good. Um, and I've seen my brother Showtime SP judge battles, you know what I'm saying? I know it's not an easy process, but uh, as far as the Swamp battle, I see a lot of people saying Swamp got robbed, Swamp got robbed. Now, here's how I feel as a person who bet on Swamp and lost. People say, oh, why would you bet on Swamp? Everybody's going to bet on JC. Everybody. I would have bet on JC. But I'm not going to get a nigga to bet me. Like, nobody's going to bet me that JC's going to lose, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to go out there. And take a take a dare. I bet on Swamp a couple other times and won all three rounds up until and I even bet in a dot battle. I, I won a bet against Dot. He ran off, but I bet against another nigga in that and he paid. And so you know, it, you win some, you lose some. But what I will say about this, uh, Swamp can't make it to where people are giving JC a thirty. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have a round like he had in his third, the slips, the blips, the choking, the stumbles. It, it, it ain't, it's just nasty work, you know what I'm saying? Like, you make their jo job easier. Because even if somebody had it like a 1-1 one, one, or it comes down to the third, when you have a third like that with $120,000 on the line, money, you're going to make it easy. Like, nobody gave the battle. None of the four judges gave the battle to Swamp. Fan vote was really, 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 really close. I think it was in like two, three votes of each other. I, don't, I think Swamp might have got it by a vote or two. But it's all negated when you're battling against somebody who's going through line for line for line for line flawless. No matter how he cooks it up, it's still cooking up. You know what I mean? So now you got JC. Uh, he wants surf. He wants Lux. And, uh, you know, people was asking me, yo, what you think? What you, who you think he should get first? Or what you think? Or how you think it should go? Uh, I definitely feel like, and I feel like, he deserves both battles. Lux been talking about battling JC since like 2015, 2016, you know what I'm saying? I remember speaking to Lux after Summer Madness 6, and he was saying, yo, that was something that could happen. Then JC started battling everybody in the world. Like, this nigga was battling on like, Taco Bell Battle League, Arby's Battle League. This nigga was battling every fucking day. And that kind of like, 
took the flight off track. I'm not gonna say it grounded him. I just say it took they took another it took another route. And now that he's in this tournament and has won, you know, JC, he's up there, you know, like he he's up there. He was almost down there. Yo, it was so crazy. Like right after the battle happened, he got put it was like the 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 push, like he got pushed off the stage. The shit was crazy. I was like, what the fuck? But, you know, um, his, his manager had cleared it up saying, you know, he was happy for him. He celebrated, you know what I'm saying? It was a little push. JC, you know, that, that JC well could have tore his ACL if he didn't land. But, you know, little skinny niggas, they like cats. So when you knock them off some shit, they land on their feet. And they would knock my big ass off the stage. Nigga, they would be calling a fucking EMT, nigga. I'd have been a goddamn Kawhi Leonard. I'd been sitting for the next year. They would have toys, motherfucking PCL jumping off that stage. I'm glad JC is good, and I'm glad you niggas made it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Swamp got some bread, too. I heard, you know, I don't know the single figure dollar amount. I was hearing he got the 20. I was hearing he got the 50. I don't know what he got, but I'm glad he got something. So now, JC versus uh, a Loaded Lux or versus a Sue Surf. I think Sue Surf should be first. Um, and the reason being is that. Surf said that. He said out of his own mouth that if JC win that 100,000, I'm coming for it. And we not gonna let, like he's gotta be the one that's gonna stand in front of that work. You know what I'm saying? Now, people all the time are saying, JC with the slow buildups and the slow flow. Listen, he been doing this shit for years. So don't act brand new and act like, oh, we don't know. This is just JC thing. JC's not the nigga who's gonna go into AMG mode, grip the tech, lift the tech, hit his chest, hit his neck, he's not doing all of that. He's gonna do, bitch, listen, I don't play no matter where I'm at, Ben Simmons, and he's gonna have the most impactful, effective lines, and he beats his opponents one by one. Uh, I do like the JC versus Surf. I've been like, I wanted to see JC get bigger bags and bigger battles and bigger names any fucking way. Cause they had him on that whole little gauntlet where he was battling all the new niggas. He battled like Kid Chaos and like Ryder and like fucking, uh, uh, was it Jaden Nightwing? That nigga battled with every fucking body. Everybody. That nigga battled every, once they came with the contract. Nigga would sign up, do a Crucible, first battle you get JC, nigga. I was like, nah, he battled, this nigga, he was battling Ray. He was battling niggas that's not even on you, all these niggas that niggas not even booking no more. He, he battled none of, yo, JC battled every new nigga that they had coming through the fucking door in for like a year and a half in a row. I'm glad he broke that mold and broke the code and got up and got up through there, you know what I'm saying? Like now, it's to a point where it's like, all right, well now we gonna, we gonna, we gonna see what JC rocking, you know what I'm saying? Like we gonna see if JC really like that. And, through the tournament, I felt like he had a good tournament run. A really good one. Not the greatest run ever, but he got past every opponent, and that's really all that you could ask. I know there's niggas out there who's gonna hate on JC. I know there's niggas who's out there who's gonna say what they say. But at the end of the day, when you win with the judges 4-0 in a battle of that magnitude for 100,000, most people, most people, not all, We'll never see $100,000 at one time in their life. Like one watt, like niggas is not gonna see that. Let's just sell a piece of property, move a couple brick, whatever the case may be. But to, to win it clear off battle rap like that, it's a dope thing. Um, as far as Lux goes, uh, I wanna see JC versus Lux too. I'm not sure if I'm a proponent or a fan of seeing it on a big stage, or maybe they should bring that down to a small room where the writers and the, the niggas with them pens like that could really, really, really get to enjoy a battle in a moment like that. But wherever it happens, it'll be like, there was a time, there was a time when there was a lot of niggas who fuck with JC was like, yo, he's never gonna get Lux, not at this rate. But now, you know, but for now, he's definitely um changed his narrative. And I think narratives, you know, obviously, or a thing in battle rap, you know, people could say something about someone or about their career or about their status. And a lot of y'all be thinking like, oh, the league's the nigga. The league owners watch these motherfucking blogs. Them niggas, trust me, you name it. A through B, whoever's the hottest niggas that's blogging, they watching. So trust me, they are watching. Nigga, these views do not do 15, 20, 30,000 views if nobody's watching. They watch. They might not give the credit like, oh, you know, we saw this, so we, they're not gonna do that, they're not supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen people talking the other day, Jims was saying that leagues should pay media or pay bloggers to promote them. I don't I don't know if I agree with that notion, because my thing is this, we, we already get paid. You know what I'm saying? Just to sit down and talk shit about battles and talk shit about events, I wouldn't want to work or get paid by a league because then people feel like, you know, there's compromise there. You gotta kinda talk towards a league or talk for a league. No, 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 no. You keep y'all keep your money. Y'all got enough artists. Pay the artists. 
make sure they get what they supposed to get because we gonna get what we supposed to get anyway because a top tier blogger like whoever you want to name is making more than if they're doing anything they're probably making more than all if you're not a top tier battle rapper or a high mid tier battle rapper getting paid good money the battle the niggas who talk about the battles are probably getting paid more like monthly are probably making more than the guys who are just uh you know on, on small cards or on app cards or app events and shit like that they're, they're not making the same thing so that's that but when it comes to uh lux uh lux was there i saw people saying oh lux was uninterested in jc lux don't never be excited to battle no nigga did you did, was, was michael jordan excited to play against kobe bryant when kobe bryant was a rookie no was Michael Jordan excited to play against Allen? No. Like, these are niggas that's, that came after him. Why would he be excited? When niggas was like, oh, when they seen Lux, they thought, you thought Lux was going to jump up there and be like, oh, yes, JC, I'm so glad. Like, he's going to play it the way he played. Yeah, like, we're going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how Lux do. Yeah, handsome. We're going to work. We're going to work. We're going to make this thing work. You know what I'm saying? The stars is in line now. JC done climbed to where he's at, and he's at the pinnacle. So, we're going to make that thing work. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get that business right. Y'all yeah, niggas act like y'all don't know Lux. Y'all niggas really act like, oh, I don't know Lux. So now we don't know Lux. You know how Lux speaks, beloved. I fuck with Lux too. That's my man. You know what I'm saying? Like he really gets busy, and uh, hopefully we can see him a little bit more frequently and against some newer talent. Cause all of Lux's real battles that been happening in recent memory, besides the Geechee Gotti shit, been legacy battles, battle arts, legacy battle, battle. You know, verb, legacy battle. Like we want to see you get busy, get get down here on the court with the niggas who's doing it right now. Just saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, uh, Lux. Tiff, all right now, when we want to see y'all niggas get busy with who's out here right now, I don't want to see Lux come back and battle against fucking Rex or no shit like that. I want to see you get busy with the niggas that's out here on the court right now. Hmm? Huh? Did you say something? I thought I heard you say something. All right, nigga. Um, but real facts, though. Salute to JC. He deserves this moment. He deserves this shine. Uh, Swamp can't make it easy. When you're in a hundred thousand dollar tournament, nigga, you need every round. You need them niggas to be calling time, time, time. Oh man, let me fit. Like you got that. You got to get there. You can't be. These niggas is gonna call time on you in two minutes and thirty seconds anyway. You, you in a battle where niggas is calling time and you timing yourself. And another thing, like I see mad people say, it, I'm gonna say it too on camera. Swamp has got to stop doing that. Oh damn, I fucked up, bro. You, you got to stop doing that. When you do that, you let niggas know you choke. Have another bag that you could go in. I'd rather you go into some... They killed uh, Reed about this shit the other day with the mixtape shit. He literally did spit a whole mixtape verse. I ain't saying spit no shit off no, off no track. But nigga, you got to have some bars that, could, that you could just go into. Because... Or be able to get your shit back. Like, that's his next step in his development. I'm actually going to talk about uh, the, the, the newer niggas versus the vets in a sec. That's, that's my next joint. Um, I don't want to put it in here. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, you know what I'm saying, who I think could survive and shit like that. We're gonna, we, we, we're gonna talk. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in my bag. We dropped three joints yesterday. I'm gonna drop a couple joints today. We, 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 we definitely in a bag, you know what I'm saying? And this, uh, if you looking, we cooking. Gang, gang. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I can't be for rappers. Studio in the booth, that's why I leave a rapper. In the streets thugging, I ain't even wanna be a rapper. I might clap a rapper if I see a rapper. If you see a nigga with me, probably ain't a rapper. Sneak dissing in your songs, make me hate a rapper. 